Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Can everyone hear my voice? You can see we got Jon Snow in the house. Good to have you here as well, Jon Snow. <laughs> All right, okay, so we're about to get a full room here. Uh, so you guys are the lucky ones who got in. Um, so let's start off with, uh, it's been a while. I haven't come to Urban Forex in a long time. Uh, been away for uh, some research and work with the team at Forex Watchers. But uh, you know, the way things are looking now, uh, we are back at Urban Forex. So we're going to be bigger, better, and stronger. And it's great to have you fans still around, still watching, still keeping up. Uh, so it's always good to have everyone around. So let's start with this. How many of you guys have seen my webinars before and attended it live? Okay, uh, and then the recordings, first time, first time. On YouTube only. Uh, not live, but I've watched all of them. Okay, okay. Great, great. Okay, so where's everyone from? Where are y'all guys located right now? Uh, yes, this webinar is recorded, Victor. India, India, Dubai, UK, London, Ireland. Wow, okay. I can't even keep up. You guys have like, you guys know the rhythm. <laughs> you guys know I'm gonna ask you where you're from, so you just, just type in away. Tahir from Manchester, Denmark, Winterfell, Australia, Bharat, India again, Virginia. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. So going forth in 2016 and 17, uh, we're going to be changing the way things are done a bit at uh, Urban Forex. We're going to be making it more into a educational format rather than a community talking about all sorts of random stuff. It's going to be more streamlined, uh, more focused on uh, what needs to be done. How do you learn? How do you go piece by piece? Uh, a lot more education. And there is one downside, but I wouldn't say it's too down because uh, uh, we've talked about it with management and everything. We're, we're going to be soon in the, uh, in the upcoming months, we're going to be changing Urban Forex into a paid membership area. However, however, it's going to be extremely low cost. And those of you who are already here do not have to pay. Okay, so you guys have the upper hand of already being here. Okay, so um, strategies, techniques, uh, momentums. Um, uh, next month, I'm going to be in Montreal. Uh, and I think two months from now, I will be in Toronto, probably doing a seminar with uh, FX Street there. So if you guys are in Toronto, uh, I would love to meet you guys in person. Uh, those of you who are in Bangkok, I am here now for another month. So if you guys want to catch up, it's also great. Um, and if you guys are around Montreal, Toronto, uh, we'll meet again. Uh, when are you coming to London? Probably towards the end of the year, maybe. Uh, towards winter. I know it's the wrong decision, but towards winter, probably. Um, Mohammed, hey, thank you. Jane, are you from India? Yes, my, my parents are Indian, so I, I do have that brown color on me. <laughs> but uh, I was raised uh, all around the world, so uh, hence my accent and all that stuff. So good for Londoners. Come to Singapore. Yes, Singapore is, uh, is on the list. I will, be, uh, I will be in Singapore as well. Uh, so Towards in three months time, I'll be back in Bangkok uh, or maybe even in Phuket and then uh, Singapore would be pretty close by to uh, come make a visit. Nothing yet on Japan, uh, nothing yet on DC. I will be in San Diego in September. Uh, so if you guys are in San Diego, that will be an opportunity uh, to catch up with you guys. Um, nothing yet on Dubai or Ireland. 
So we'll, we'll keep you guys up to date, not to worry. Um, I'll, I will make my way through slowly as the years goes to uh, come catch up with as many guys, uh, many of you guys as I can. So, okay, so it's been a while. What strategy do you guys trade? What do you guys like? What do you guys enjoy? What questions do you have? Let's start with uh, little by little. Um, Okay, day trading, supply and demand, BA, um, what's a BA? Scalping on support resistance, low risk, high profit, so high risk to reward trades. Supply and demand, swing trading, okay. M and W patterns, okay, what's an M and W pattern? Maybe I've been away from patterns for a while, what, what's an M and W pattern? Price action on pivots, okay, fibs. Kiss, what's a kiss? Okay, pro trading strategy, okay. Trend trading, price action, day trading on pivots. Interested in all trading strategies, okay, okay. Uh, Jane, yes, uh, the kiss is keep it simple, stupid, but what, do, uh, what strategy does that reflect to? John oversold, overbought stochastics, uh, multiple time frames. Okay, so that's multiple time frame trading. Uh, I think I use all of it. <laughs> okay, okay. Support and resistance or anything harmonic patterns. Okay, so let's let's get into all of that stuff. Let's get into all of that stuff. Uh, M and W patterns. Okay, there's a link. I'll I'll you know I'll look into it towards the end of the webinar. I'll just jump right in. I think the webinar is full now. So if you have any friends or anything like that trying to come in, just you guys can just let them know that it's recorded. It'll be on YouTube in 48 hours or less. So, uh, double tops and bottoms. Okay, so let's let's get the chart opened up. Uh, let me share. In fact, before we even do the chart, let's get a whiteboard open up. Okay. Okay, can you guys see the circle? Okay, so before we get into strategies and edges and techniques and everything, there is a common ground that needs to be known to use any strategy, techniques, or edges, right? And the common ground is how you read the chart, okay? How you read the chart, how you distinguish it, how you determine if your strategy is gonna work now versus you know, a few few hours later on a different pair, it's not gonna work there, and why? Knowing that why and when to stop trading and wait for the right moment again is very critical. Otherwise, a strategy is gonna be a hit and miss every time, right? You know, nothing is foolproof. So all you can do is work your way to, well, when will it work, correct? So, let's let's start with a few things. When When you see a chart doing this, What comes to your mind? Retrace, retrace, wait, correction, change the trend, a bull driving drunk, <laughs> okay. Pull back, correction, uh, wait to, to buy again, okay. Uh, look for it to turn back up, buy, 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 okay. When this happens, How do you feel? Okay, good. Angry, more retest, okay. If that happens, okay, some say wait, wait till above former area. Okay, some are saying buy, buy. Okay, in this process, I want you guys to tell me which one does, does your attention stick to? Do you like stuff like that or do you like stuff like that? What is your preference? The first one or the second one?
Okay. The reason why I ask this is because I need to know what excites you more. Uh, and hence, we need to develop strategies and uh, get you closer to reading to that stuff. Okay, so we, it seems to seems to be so far we have a mixed uh, information here. You know, some saying one, some saying two. Consolidation means a breakout is coming. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of ones and twos. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we, okay, we'll we'll get some of those uh, ready out for you guys on the, the, the different designs. Okay. Okay. Depends on the candle. Okay. All right. Okay, follow with me. What's going on right now? Lower low, downtrend. Okay. Is it a buy? Okay. Okay, I'm going to keep this on the side for you guys. Okay. Is it a buy? about now Okay, I can see some are flipping to buys now. Okay, can everyone see the, the polls right now? Okay, who's leading the poll right now? The buyers or sellers? Okay. The reason why I, I, I'm doing this little experiment for you guys, I want you guys to see your own reactions. Okay? So just wait for a moment, you know, stop the typing. Just, just think about it. I want you guys to just focus and think. Notice how everyone turns a buyer after a buy is shown up. Okay, so think about that for a moment. Everyone is a seller as long as a sell is still there. And everyone's a buyer the moment the buy actually shows up, right? So in the, con in the content uh, context of the markets are going down and then suddenly, boom, okay? This is where we call the billionaires. This is the billionaire who starts the move. The reason why we call them the billionaire is because the world is still looking at this as a sell. The moment he goes up again, this is stage two. Stage two, we call this the corporations, the hedge funds, the smart investors, the traders. Okay. And then we have stage three. By this point, every indicator, every system, everything is pointing up. Am I right? And at this point, that stage three, which is 80% of the world is now buying. Now, if 80% of the world starts to buy now, how can this number be true?
right? Does everyone know that number? Is the sound still okay? I, I think the sound seems to be okay. Um, okay, sounds okay, okay. So, so the point is, I just wanted to like roughly give you guys an idea of most of the buying happens when it's already too late. Most of the selling happens when it's already too late. Because generally people want more and more and more confirmation to say things are good. It's like when you go buy stocks of a certain company, you want the best books possible. You want a good financial standings of a company, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that means price is already very, very high. And you're buying higher, expecting the price to go even higher to turn a profit. Things can't go forever. They need to turn, twist, consolidate, do all sorts of stuff. Uh, Florin, yes, it's, it's, it's recording. It's recording. Is, does that make sense? So I want you to now take a step back and think of all of your strategies that you guys work with and think, is my strategy telling me to get into the market late? Is my strategy nothing but an indicator that's telling me get in now when the whole move is already done? Or is my strategy telling me a heads up? That can make a big difference. Okay, I'm not saying there's a winning strategy and a losing strategy, but just this thought of am I entering too late? Right? If you get the feeling of every time I enter, I lose, like I'm constantly just losing, how can it be so possible that I have such bad luck that every time I trade, I lose, <laughs> you know? It, it, it feels like, man, I think, I think the world is against me. Yeah, very late into the party, right? Okay, uh, Philip, so the question is, when do we know when to get in? And, and that's the right question to ask. And when you think in that sense, hence the strategy for you guys needs to be built accordingly. Okay? The strategy that you make, the strategy that you choose, the strategy that we might provide needs to go with the concept of make sure you're not entering too late. Make sure you don't see it when it's actually visible because everyone sees it. Here's the thing. Let me show you guys something. Ready? Let's show you guys something here. Let me remove this. Uh... Let's do that same thing again. Is this, boy, where's my pole? Okay, is this a buy or a sell? Okay, the majority are answering a buy. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Now, we, th those who say we don't know yet, how about now? Now everyone's saying buy, but now it's too late. Right? This is where all the buyers who've previously started are taking profit. Okay, does that make sense? Uh, Hugo, we can go into different time frames and stuff like that uh, in a bit. But well, we're just going through the general concepts of where majority of the mistakes in the market happen. Okay, so in this whole con concept of, if I go back one more piece, uh, right there, when everyone says, oh, sorry, is it? Let me, let me do this actually. Let me move the voting screen like this and I'll put it right there. Is, is that okay? Is that away from everyone's uh, main screen? Yeah, or in fact, here, I'll put it on the, on the bottom. Like you guys need, don't need to know how many attendees are there. Okay, there we go.
Okay. All right. Now, those who are thinking of a buy for this, where is your stop loss? Okay. Okay. Everyone is saying here. Okay. Now, stop the typing. Think. Think now. I just gave you two moments of where the world thinks in one track. The, what we call the one track mind. In, in this area here, some will be buyers, some will be sellers. But as we approach here, majority are buyers. That's step number one. The world is buying. Step number two. The world is putting their stops at one sacred place. And then put, convert that information back to the 95.5. Okay, Jane, I was saying number two has to do with the stops. Everyone's stop is at the same place, which means there's a lot of orders here, a lot of orders. And if there's a lot of orders, uh, Jane, yes, stop loss. Okay, if there's a lot of orders down there, well, the market wants to pick up those orders. Okay. Market makers, other hedge funds, other traders, just, or if you think about it in an auction market theory, that those orders need to be picked up. So does that make sense? So your strategy needs to be a little bit more concrete where you have to think a little bit of, huh, I know my strategy says to do this, but is the whole world doing this as well? Is everyone getting in very late just like me? Right? Is that, does that make sense to everyone? Okay, the only way to go opposite of the crowd is when you know the crowd is in one way. And there's only a few times the crowd thinks in one direction. And we call these the emotional candles. It's this moment when everyone's poll, when we did the poll, when this happened and here 47% said buy. But once the price reached here, the number shot up to 60 something percent of people saying buy. This is what we call the emotional candle. The emotional candle makes everyone look at it as a buy. Like they have to buy it. It moved up so quickly that if they don't buy it now, then there's no hope. It seems like that. I need to get part of this action. <laughs> yeah, no Ferrari. Looks like you've been watching my webinars. <laughs> yeah, so you feel, you get, you know, the terminology in the industry is called FOMO. You know, fear of missing out. Okay. So far so good, everything making sense? So as we get into you know the next few webinars and stuff like that, we're gonna do them a little bit more regularly. Um, I'll come in, I'll bring some of my students from Forex Watchers to do some webinars for you guys as well. Um, but I want you guys to understand the core concepts of trading. Trading works when, in, in, in basic language, the other side can lose. That's the only way you can get the money in your pocket. Okay? 
Does that make sense? So we need to know what the world is doing and if, if the world does a certain thing in a certain way, we know that our strategy needs to show us that a little bit ahead of time rather than late. If it's all indicator based, you're gonna be late. You know, no one thinks of a cell when your MAs are pointing upwards. It's just common knowledge that no one sells when the MAs are upwards, right? Like it's just who sells there. Okay. Uh, Marco, how can we join Forex Watch? You'll have to get in touch with Forex Watchers if you want to take that route. Okay, so let's remove all this. Shall we look at some charts now? Let's can we let's bring all the stuff to light. Let's look at some charts and uh, get some examples going. All right. A big yes. <laughs> okay, wait. Uh, Jane, we're we're gonna be developing strategies. Like I said, today's webinar is just me coming back to Urban Forex. It's getting you guys all acquainted back with Urban Forex, getting you guys thinking in the right way. Uh, and then we'll develop strategies uh, slowly, uh, more up to date, more robust, more you know, more powerful, and you guys will be a little bit more comfortable with them. Yeah. Okay. So I would be happy if you reveal your strategy here. The thing is, it's not just a strategy. That's the thing, right? I, I can give away whatever I do, but the trading is not as simple as it seems. Um, and you'll get you'll get to that understanding in a bit, uh, in due time. Uh, it will all make sense. Okay, is my my chart visible? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about strategies, guys. I will get you guys some strategies. Don't worry. Uh, Hugo, no worries. Yeah, it is recording. So I will email you guys again uh, once the recording is available. Okay, okay, okay. So let's take a look. And any particular pairs you guys like? Euro pound? Okay, let's start with Euro pound and then we can go to the other ones uh, uh, in the list. <laughs> we need a strategy more than 10 pips. Okay, let's take a look at Euro pound. Okay. Let me remove all the indicators and everything so you guys have just a clean view. Uh, whoops, sorry. Okay, is that clean enough? Everyone can see the chart. Okay. Now, take a look on this 15 minutes. Okay. I'm going to open this up. Ready? Okay. Here's the important part. Right here, would we call that a support equals resistance? Right? So support equals resistance in a downtrend means what? No, it's, it's, it's basically a sell, you know, when price comes back to support, generally it's back to a sell. It's a support and slash resistance for a reason because prices react from there. Okay. There's where, you know, your orders are sitting at, whether you look at it as a support resistance or supply and demand or however you want to call it. Prices react from these areas. They don't have to react, but there's a higher chance that they will. Okay, it is just a visual object. So as people are looking at this as a sell, and then he starts to roll upwards. Okay, and then he comes down again. And then he continues to roll upwards. It's around this area. People start looking at buys. Okay, I'm just giving you guys a example of market mentality, right? Around this area, people look at buys. 
Now notice all the buying action afterwards. Very messy. Well, the reason why people call it a buy, it's like here, let me, let me put it this way. However you have your MAs or any trading system will tell you, oh my God, it's, it's an up. Higher high, higher low sequence, it's an uptrend. Why would you sell in an uptrend? Go with the flow, the trend is your friend. All sorts of things keep coming, right? Which means buy, buy, buy. Well, because not until this point, down here, no one's thinking of a buy. Does that make sense? It's only after the buy has happened, people start thinking of a buy. It's weird how the mentality works, but now think of it this way. Now, take a, take a step back and just think. What do you think the price for this product is here? Is it expensive or cheap versus the price over here? Okay, forget the word Euro. Let's say it's, uh, I don't know, a Macintosh or, um, you know, it's cheap down there. So if you think in terms of a billionaire, you know, or in, in terms of a smart investor or anything, he wants to get the discount as much as he can. But when price reaches up to here or higher or higher, these guys stop coming in. In fact, they're looking to get out. So the complete opposite is happening with the big boys. The big boys are looking to get out while the smaller folks, the, the, the public is looking to get in. Now, does a, does a smaller public have more money than the big boys? No, so they can't move the market. Hence, where all the problems happen is when everyone actually thinks that, oh yeah, it's a buy. That's where all the problems start happening. Right? Okay, now, as people, as people think of a, of a, of a buy, right? Now, I want, I want to open this up. Uh, sorry, let me do it this way. Uh, oh, oops. Here we go. I'm going to open that up on the 60 minute chart now. Okay. Notice where people are looking to do the buys up in this spot, right? What do you think the 60 minute guys are trying to do? Sell. For them, it's a downtrend. So whoever's doing the buy on the 15 is buying late to the point where the 60 is like, well, let me sell. So conflict of interest. Because the 60 minute sellers are not going to sell down here, are they? They don't want that price. They want a discount price to sell their products from. They want, they want to sell their product as expensive as possible to make a profit. But selling their product here means they're taking less money. They're selling it cheaper. Yeah, Varun, we, we can go into many time frames, higher and higher and higher. Again, the whole concept of this right now is to think logically. Right? Does that make sense what we're trying to do here? We're not trying to make a system or a strategy or who's right, who's wrong. What we're trying to do is talk logic. Okay, I'm not trying to give you guys a signal that you need to sell this right now. Like, no, no nothing like that. Okay, so so far everything makes sense. Uh, crazy trader, um, no advertising, please. Urban Forex is extremely strict on advertising. So, um, unfortunately, we've we've banned so many people and we don't let them back in. So please uh, avoid from marketing. All right. So moving forward, yeah, yeah, I understand. It's okay. Just 
No, no bringing it up. I'm sorry. So, moving forward. So, does everything make sense? Now, do we have access to people's orders? No. Now, think in this way. If 500 people are buying and 10 people are selling, who's going to win? Good. Those who say depends is correct. Depends on the volume. Correct. Absolutely correct. If the 10 people have more money than the 500, they will win. So it doesn't matter how many people are hitting the buys if people with the 10 have more money. So in the Forex market, do you have volume? Do you have tracked volume? No. So there's no way to measure this. There is no way to measure who's constantly buying or selling. You have to be smarter. You want to be ahead in this game. You got to think two steps ahead. Gene, of course, in futures you can, and there are some Forex futures out there. Okay. Remember, don't go with the general stuff. You know, let me help you, uh, you know, I, I can help you see the right way if you just follow my system. I can help you see the thing if you just follow my advice. No, you got to think two or three steps ahead. Okay, you guys are better than that. You guys have been at Urban Forex long enough and you guys know that we don't generally do stuff the normal way. You know, we don't explain stuff in a normal way. We're, we're, we're the odd candy out, you know. <laughs> so it, it, it helps to, to be unique in this market because the problem is if everyone agrees with what you're doing, chances are it's not going to work. It's, it's very, it's that simple. Uh, can you use market profile to uh, replace volume? Not necessarily, but market profile does give you a, a idea uh, of where the markets are, are heading. You know, if, if you do like a market profile and it looks, you know, something like that, then you know that this is the median or somewhere in this area is the median where people are happy to buy and sell. Uh, oh, Jane, I'm explaining market profile right now. It, it, this, it shows you how many buying and selling is occurring, basically. So you got a median somewhere around in, in, in certain prices that tells you that a lot of people want to buy and sell at that price, which means price is not going to move so much. Like this can be like a median, like people are happy to buy and sell at that price. Business continues. Now here, business does not continue as normal. People who want to buy don't have sellers willing to sell them the product. Hence, they're saying, okay, okay, I'll buy at a more expensive price. Give me that product. So the business is not normal there. There's, an, there's what we call the imbalance or unusual condition of the market. People who want to sell here, the stores, store owners, they don't have the people who want to buy the product at that price. They're like, screw that. I'm not buying that expensive. So they're like, okay, okay, we'll lower the price and then will you buy it? Does that make sense in terms of logic? Everything you see on a chart is not a, a, an item to predict the future. Your chart is nothing but a receipt. It's a receipt, which means transactions already happened in the past. It's not a golden, it's not a crystal ball to predict the future. It's just a receipt. People have bought and sold already. It's done. It's just a record. So using that to predict the future, it, it's, it's wrong. You can use it only to a certain extent. 
You have to be more in, in tuned with the now than in tuned with what's going to happen, you know, way into the future. Okay. All right, guys. So again, like I said, it's uh, um, I, I might be you know messing with some people's beliefs and this and that and 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 I'm I'm sorry if it doesn't gel well at this moment, but give it some time. I will you know try to you know get you guys into the right state of mind, the right uh, ideology of where trading is always gonna be wrong, kind of thing. And you have to think differently. You got to think outside the box. Okay. Um, zoom, zoom. I don't know if my voice is bad. I, I, I thought my voice was beautiful. <laughs> but um, maybe it might be the internet. I'm not sure. Uh, Naveen, how else do you relate between market sentiments and smart money moves? Um, well, there, there, is, there is various ways. There's various ways to look at it because it's not just, it's a downtrend I need to sell. That's too simple, simplistic. It's a downtrend and we're at an area of resistance. What is my price doing there? How is he reacting? How is he gonna go down? I can't just sit here and say, well, that's a sell, guaranteed. No, no, come on, you guys are better than that. Much, much better than that. Yes, you have a bias of a sell side but show me it's gonna be a sell and then I'll sell it. Not, I'm just gonna hit the sell because it's a Fibonacci 38% retracement or there's a supply there. No, 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 no. It's, it's not that simple, right? Okay. So, and I'm, I'm not trying to scare you either. Um, it's, it's doable, but it's just not that very like, just gonna come home from work one day, I'm gonna open up my charts and I see a sell, I hit a sell. It, 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 there's, there's more to it. There's more to it. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna have to, uh, okay, any questions at this stage before we call it, call it uh, an end to this? Any questions so far? Uh, and then we'll get, get into when the next webinar is and all that stuff. So. Did any did everything I, I explained today make sense? Is there any 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 um, what's the word uh, confusion? Uh, yes, the news has a role. Uh, Moti, yes. Uh, JJ or he he, um, every movement means that somebody is ready to buy what you sell and vice versa, else the market don't move at all. So why somebody is buying when it's not, uh, why somebody is buying when it's not the time to buy? Okay, that, that depends on time frames analysis, right? Now, if you're looking at the 15 minute and the 15 minute is looking to buy when you're 60 and the four hours and the daily is looking to sell, your 15 minute will barely survive unless someone is in that 15 minute that can make a decision. So it pays to wait and see what's going to happen and then make a decision slightly afterwards. Okay, well, we'll get into all of that stuff little by little by little. Okay. Uh, your FX Street webinars are only for premium members. Yes, it's only for premium members. Don't worry about it. That's why we're opening up Urban Forex again. Um, so, uh, it, like I said, it, it, we'll be back a lot more regularly. I think uh, you'll uh, you guys will enjoy what we have to offer coming up. So, uh, BM Mar B Martins, uh, Naveen, you said one of your seminars that you are leaving trading. Uh, it's still the case. Yes and no. Um, I'm going to be doing more more coaching going forward. I'm going to be traveling a lot more and visiting you guys. I feel I get more satisfaction from that uh, than being in my little boxed room and just hitting the buttons. So, we're, 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 so higher time frame is going to be my thing. So that way I can trade once a week or twice a week and stuff like that instead of 10 trades uh, in, a, in a matter of two hours. I trade futures as well now. So I'm on the one minute and 15 second charts on the futures. So there, it's, a, it's a big, big leap. 
Um, but let's see if that's for me. I'm just uh, researching that phase still right now. When will you be in Toronto, Richard? I'm going to be in Toronto probably end of July, I would say. July, August, maybe, something like that. Um, uh, Anil, could you please upload some of your conference room analysis recordings if possible? Anil, unfortunately, we can't do that. That is private to Forex Watchers members only. Okay, um, why once or twi uh, twice a week? Varun, it's because higher time frames take longer to set up. Uh, and FX binary, binary is just another instrument, another way to get into the market. You can do that with uh, uh, various, various strategies, but you need to know how the things line up. Once they line up in a right way, you can even trade it with a binary. Singapore, give me some time. Let me get back from Canada. Give me some time. Uh, I will come back directly to uh, Bangkok and then after Bangkok, maybe I'll head to uh, Singapore. So um, let's see how many people are in Singapore. I would love to come meet you guys. Okay. All right, guys. So we're 48 minutes into this thing. We'll uh, let you guys break from here because, uh, you know, attention span is getting lower and lower in 2016. <laughs> And it's already a lot to cover from what we just talked about. It, it can be mind boggling. So take some rest. We'll, we'll come back again in a week or two weeks time and we'll retackle everything. Okay. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the webinar. Uh, if you'd like to get more examples uh, regarding the video and the webinar you just watched, there is an article on uh, Urban Forex that I have provided and with more examples on there. So you can uh, proceed to the site by using the link below the video. And if there's any questions or concerns, you can leave your comments there and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching. Until the next webinar in a few weeks. Take care.